What is going on gamers, this is Gaming at its core and in today's video I'm going to be showing you part 2 on the PS4 Share Factory tutorial. In part 1 I showed you how to record clips and how to actually save them onto your capture gallery. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add multiple clips together and how to delete bits that are not needed. So as you can see I'm on the Share Factory main menu right now, so what I'm going to be doing is clicking on New Project and this brings you onto the Theme Selection area. So this is where you can select any theme you want. Now for this video I'm going to be selecting the PlayStation 4 theme since that's the one that I mainly use anyway and it's suitable for the video. So what you have here is the intro, title, outro, stinger clip and then all the clips that you have recorded. So for this video I'm going to be clicking on the two clips that I got in part 1 and I'm also going to be unticking the title since I never seem to use that and I don't think it's a good addition to the video if I have that selected anyway. So now that I've got the clips that I want selected what I'm going to be doing now is clicking square where it says start project and then it brings you onto this part where you can either rename and title your video now or you can click continue and do it when you finish. Now I always do it when I finish so I'm just going to click continue. Now as you can see here it brings you onto this page where it's like a timeline and all the clips in the timeline. So basically we're already halfway through the video because I've already shown you how to add clips. All that we have left to do is how to delete bits that are not needed. So as you can see on the bottom here you have a timeline, this is where all your clips are and in order to actually move along the timeline you can either use the R3 button to just move left and right or you can use the touchpad to move left and right as well, you just scroll your finger along the touchpad to move left or right. So now that I've shown you how to move along the timeline using either R3 or your touchpad, all I'm going to be showing you now for the last bit of the video is how to cut and delete bits that you don't need in your video. Alright, so I've now found the part where I actually want to split the clip. So how do you split the clip? That's a good question. So what you're going to want to do is click the square button and it will come up with this massive box full of options. And you want to click where it says split clip. So click X on that and now you just press X to where you want to actually split the clip. So I want to split it around... Uh, I'll split it there. So I'm going to press X again to split the clip. Do you want to confirm? Yes I do. And now I've split my clip. So obviously I don't want this part. So what you need to do is click the square button while hovering over in order to bin it. And then it will give you a confirmation. So you press OK. And now that I've edited I can now see that it's perfectly edited. So if I just go back to the other clip you can already tell that I have managed to edit out that bit before and it's not there anymore so this is a pretty good edit so I also said in the previous video that I'm going to be editing this bit out while it's running so I'm not gonna edit out I'm not gonna keep all the running I'm probably just gonna edit from here so I'm gonna press X again and split clip yes so that's now split and then I'm also going to hover over this bit which I don't want and press the square button. Do you want to delete clip? Yes I do. So that's now done and there was also a transition there and that's also deleted. But that's not what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. That's going to be in the next part. So this is basically all I'm showing you in this part so I do hope you found it useful please smash that like button if you do enjoy comment video ideas please share and also subscribe for when I make a new video this is gaming at its core and until next time I'll see you in the next video